in other courtrooms. This would be a jury over here, okay? It would be a jury box over here. Right now we're using it for administrative stuff and, and, and shrimp uh, uh, pasta and everything else. But, but generally speaking, right? generally speaking, this is, what, this is where the jury is. Sounds good. It. You with me? Yes. So you understand. Think, think about how things are positioned. I just want to talk really quickly about logistics. What's the word? Logistics. What's the word? Logistics. Right? Think about how things are positioned. So you're the witness. You notice how you need to sit closest to who? The jury. Am I, who's, who's over here? The jury. Right. So remember I told you how to do So you get to sit closest to the jury, right? So they get to watch you when you talk. They get to watch your manners, right? Okay. Who are you again? Who did I say you are? Prosecutor. You're the prosecutor, right? Who's he? That defense attorney, right? You notice how you get to sit where? Closest to where? You get to sit closest to the jury. We're just talking about logistics in terms of where people are placed. Right? This is the rules. You'll find this in every courthouse. So you get to sit closest to the jury. They get to watch you. Uh, you get to watch them. Make eye contact when you can, that sort of thing. They get to watch you. Watch your body language. Judge. Judge. You have a position from a perch. What's that called? Perch. A perch. That means on high, looking down. Perch. Right? So you get to see not only the defense attorneys, but you get to see their interactions with their clients. Right? You get to look over your right shoulder and take a look at the witness, right? You get to look at the gallery to see how people are responding because sometimes, you know, we're all human, sometimes that comes into play, right? You with me? And you get to see what the jurors are doing. So that's why the judge is usually not on the same plane, they're not on the same axis. They usually sit up, that's correct, not on the same level. And that, for two reasons, not on the same level because they're the judge, and not on the same plane in terms of the X, Y axis, not on the same level because they're looking down, seeing what's going on, got it? Mr. Defense Attorney. Now, you know, we're just talking about logistics. That's, that's where right? you're usually right? sitting. We're just talking about logistics. Now, you see where you are, right? Now, you're sitting over here. Where's your jury? No, that's over there. That's, that's correct. That's your, where's the judge? And the witness is where? Now, this is your job. We're talking about logistics. You got to keep an eye on the prosecutor because <laughs> you just want to make sure. Just, you know, not that he's going to do anything crazy, but you just want to keep an eye. Right? That's why we got two. Keep one there. Got it? Keep the other one on everything else going on. Cool. Make sense? Now, while the witness is talking, you start saying anything. Just start saying something. Say something. Just say anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, imagine your client in your ear talking to you. You've got two eyes, two ears, right? Mm -hmm. One eye is where? That's correct. Because trust me, one of their eyes is over here, too. Right? So one eye is over there, and the other eye is in the whole court. you got two ears. I'm in one of them. I'm talking about, keep lying. But that ain't what happened. That ain't what he did. Keep lying. I'm in your ear with that. You got me? Your other ear, your other ear is listening out for everything else. But you have to pay attention to what the witness is saying. Because what does the Commonwealth tell you that you might have to make? It's called a what? Object. Objection. So while I'm in your ear and while he's talking, you still have to have the presence of mind to hear what's going on and not listen to testimony to say the word what? Correct, you gotta say it loud to the court and so what's the word? Right, you gotta stand when you address the court, so how would you make your objection? And say what? Now make it like you mean it, now make it like you mean it. Make an objection. Now, 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 now if you're really irritated, we don't have any, we don't have any more forms. Objection. Right? Because you have to be listening to me, you have to listen to the witness, that's the testimony, and you got to keep your eye and ear over here to make sure everybody's playing by the rules that my colleague just told you about, right? And before we end, Mr. Prosecutor, we have a very important assignment, right? Because here you have a complainant that has been aggrieved, right? Aggrieved, what's the word? Aggrieved, you put a D on that, that's the word? Aggrieved, what's the word? What's the word, Judge? With a D on the end, what's the word? What's the word? Agreed. D E D. Agreed. What's the word? Agreed. Right? That means this person, somebody has done them some wrong in some sort of way, and they're up here telling their story. Right? Now, were you there for it? Say it loud. No. Okay. But you have a book of files, and the files have paper inside. And the paper is called the discovery. What's the word? Discovery. 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 Okay? And so when you're reading it, you now know. What allegedly, 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 
happened to your complainant, right? So where's your complainant? Where's your complainant slash victim? Where is it? He's sitting right there in the witness box. You see him over telling that? You want me over telling boy, you see him? Right? So where's your witness? Box. In the box, that's what they call it, correct. And you would be listening, so usually, if I'm wrong, correct me, uh, uh, counsel, usually the questions are supposed to start with who, when, why, what, where, sometimes I have. Got it? Ask them a question. Well, how about this? Where were you at when you got sucker punched by the defendant, right? Ask them. Where were you at when you got punched on By? By the uh, defendant. Where were you? And then he'll answer by saying what? Where were you? You were at school. Now, what's the next logical question? Do you know what school he goes to? Uh, we ask. Where, where's the location of your school? Uh, Dunham 21 High School over there, Uptown. Okay, you go to school Uptown. Okay. What is Uptown? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see how so far all your questions start with a W? That's a good idea for a prosecutor. I'm sure they teach you that. I don't have to teach you anything. I'm sure they teach you that. You saw most of your most of your questions start with a W. Every now and again, one will start with an H. That's just a little, you know, if you ever become a DA, remember I told you that. Most of your questions, if you're not leading the witness, will start with a W. You got it? All right. In any event, uh, I'm not going to take up too much more of you guys' time. I just wanted you to see, just understand logistically where things are in the courtroom, right? And now remember, no one sits next to him because he's doing this by himself. Who's next to you? Uh, That's correct, the defendant. So remember, you gotta be here, you gotta be here, right? You have to be watching things. You have to be watching the witness, right? You're talking to me, you're watching him, but you also wanna make sure your witness is not reading anything in his hand, right? What if he's reading something? Now the judge is sitting up here with a bird's eye view, but the judge isn't really the judge is paying attention to I, the way these are, I can't see you really somebody can't see reading in, in this room. There are some courtrooms that, are, that yeah. have a, a little bit better uh, uh, furniture scheme, and you right. can't see, but generally, it's up to the attorneys, you two attorneys, to make those objections. Right. So, That's if he's looking see. down while he's testifying and he's reading something, what do you say? He's reading something. Or, what's the word? Right. If you were playing ball and something happened that's wrong, what is it called? If you're playing basketball and something happens that I'm not supposed to do, what is it called? Uh, there you go. Objection means foul. Got it? Objection means foul. So he so, can't be reading nothing like that. That's correct. And even if he can be reading something, if you don't think he can, you say what? Objection. That's correct. Objection means foul. Just think of it that way. It means foul, right? Every time the ref blows a whistle, same thing. Objection. Got it? Make sense? And the same thing for the government, right? It's the government right here. And the government is charged with making sure this person gets justice because he got punched on, right? He got punched on, allegedly by me, right? I mean, I'm your defendant, he got punched on. So the government has a huge responsibility by making sure he sees, uh, A, his day in court, as well as that he gets justice, if in fact he was punched on by me. Got it? Okay. I just wanted everybody to, Let's get a flavor for the courtroom and how things go. You look real comfortable up here, <laughs> <laughs> This guy falling asleep like most of I'll judges. give that a round of applause. Good explanation. <laughs>